Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. So this will be the first video in a continuation of my old Living with Gentoo series. I think the last video I had in that was like 2015. I think that was the last time I was running Gentoo. Um, so the purpose of these, this series is to kind of show you how running uh, Gentoo as a normal everyday uh, system works and maintenance required and stuff like that. And you get to interesting, something interesting comes up, I'll make a video. And so one interesting thing just came up and that's this down here. It's a GCC upgrade and the GCC, you know, I'm not a programmer or anything, but uh, essentially GCC, how, how would I do it? Uh, Essentially, GCC is used in com compilation and, and helps uh, programs share um, different sets of uh, ABIs and things like that, shared libraries. And essentially, most packages, at least the way I heard about it, and sometimes you can get away with this, with just, just doing the uh, one-shot GCC, change the profile, update, Install, reinstall libtool, which is kind of what GCC uses. And sometimes you need to rebuild um, libraries with the new uh, uh, libs, whatever this package is, and get away with it. Sometimes, however, you need to do a complete emerge ev to rebuild the entire library, which is your entire system, hundreds and hundreds of packages. So, what I'm going to try to do. <coughs> is just um, essentially one shot the GCC, one shot the lib tool, up, update uh, environment update and source etc and then just do a world upgrade and see what happens. Um, you might have to go back and do this and do a tire, entire emerge dash ev which again is your entire system everything installed. So with that being said um, Let's go ahead and get into this. I'm going to just do basically what this says right here. Just do that without without the. Uh... See, the interesting thing is the one shot. Yeah, we'll just do that. So let's just insert. This will take a while. I believe it's a relatively long compile. Come on. <clears throat> so, so long as that goes through, I'll be back once it's done. All right, so that's done. So sorry about the small font size. I forgot to change it. So hopefully you guys could see kind of what I did. Pretty much just one shot GCC. Um, so the next thing we want to do is uh, look at the GCC config. So I believe we can just do G GCC config L for list. <clears throat> and so what we want to do is uh, GCC config two. Config two, and look at the list again. Shows that we went from 5.4 to 6.4. So I guess the the issue is, so if we look here, um, where does it say? Beyond uh, usually necessary when upgrading to new major versions, so three to four or four to five, or in this case five to six. Um, <clears throat> let's go ahead and do a uh, env update. Env update and and source etc profile and that's going to screw up my zsh and then i'll just uh, hit my shortcut z which is um, uh, zsh where is it there we go so so z is just source uh, zshrc instead of uh, etc profile <coughs> okay 
Um, let's go ahead and do the one shot for lip tool. So, if you look down here, uh, this is um, this is an encrypted Gentoo install. So if we come back over here and uh, go ahead and do that. Um, so this is uh, an encrypted Gen2 install with LVM. So I know that I'm going to have to do one shot for uh, LVM as well. I don't have Clang installed, but I will do uh, LVM as well because um, I know I'm going to need to do it. And then we'll do earlier than 3.4. Uh, we don't need to do this. Beyond 3.4, usually necessary when upgrading to new major versions. So we will need to do this. So we'll do that next. So I guess we can depth clean it once it's in, once it's done. Uh, ABI changes. Let's see here. You know, some people swear you need to update, upgrade everything. I might just do it. Um, yeah, I don't know. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to just uh, move along. But if I have any issues, I'll just, uh, I'll hold on to this video before releasing it. And if anything comes up, uh, let's see. What was the next thing we we're gonna do? Um, Written earlier, no, we don't need to do that. Beyond 3.4 rev depth rebuild. I, you know, I'm just not sure if this is S.6, but we'll try it. Rev depth rebuild. That's normal. And also need to make sure I do. Uh, So I'll be back once this is done. Actually, this is actually going to require that we rebuild 400 packages, if you see over here. So it, it is pretty much um, rebuilding against the, uh, that, uh, what do you call it? So it's going to pick everything out that has this LDC um, S.6. <coughs> Excuse me, sorry. So yeah, this is going to take a while. Maybe this is, picks everything out um, automatically so that you don't need to do an EV. So it only picks the ones that require rebuilding against a new um, GCC version. So this might be um, only necessary when upgrading. So this, yeah, so this, cool. All right, very good. So um, I'll be back once this is done. This is going to take quite a while because it had Chromium in it. And on my laptop, that takes like two hours to compile. So here it is, 9 o'clock. It'll probably be afternoon before I finish it. And I'll talk to you then. Okay, so I got a ways through here and end up getting an error on WXGTK. Uh, so what I'm going to do now is go to, um, is it use or keywords? I think it's keywords. Keywords uh, WXGTK and say, or is it use? I think it's keywords. Uh, equals x11 libs wxgtk dash 
3.0.2.0-R1 and see if that if I can make it install this package which I'm pretty sure worked before um, but we'll see save it Let's see if it wants to pick up R1 or R2 here still R2 okay so that's the wrong one uh, so we're gonna move keywords WX to use Try again. Maybe it should have been in use. If I type that right, I I don't know. Let's see. Okay. Equals x11 libs wx gtk dash. 3.0.2.0-R1 hmm. Is that right? It should be pointing to this. Hmm. Where should that go? I thought it was in accept keywords. Uh, hang on. Okay, so I actually ended up um, CD to keywords. Um, I actually ended up uh, just making it the, the more recent version. I said I thought instead of going back to this one, I went forward to this one. Um, actually went forward to this one here. So if we do uh, EIX WX GTK, you see that I have uh, the most recent version installed and it went through nicely. So um, <clears throat> I'm gonna do that, uh, oops, I'm um, gonna do this one again, just because uh, I'm not sure, hopefully, it's not going to have you know 400 and something packages like it did last time. Hopefully, it recognizes what's already been rebuilt. If not, oh well. Um, it's kind of. I hope, hopefully, it'll it'll recognize it because it would be a shame if it went through. If there's ever an error, it has to go through the whole thing. Twi you know, from the beginning. Hopefully, it will start from where it left off. So we'll see here shortly. <clears throat> All right. What do we got? We'll get a list over here of how many are going to be done. Well, that's a lot of apps. Hmm. All the KDE. Yep, Plasma. Kinfo, QT Core, Firefox, Chromium. I thought I saw Chromium in here. Okay, let's see what we got. ACU, Node, MariahDB was already done. Chromium is okay. LibreOffice, yeah, so it's going to be a whole bunch again. So um, hopefully it'll go through without any errors this time, and I'll see you in a bit. All right, well, <clears throat> that took all night. And uh, so here we are. Uh, looks like it made it through without any errors. A couple little things about, you know, setting some packages for uh, you know, configs files for Chromium, but 
Uh, yeah, seems like we're good. So we do have uh, updated config files here. Let me do something real quick. So that's not too loud. Kind of take it off a stand. Okay, so we do have some config files here. So we're going to do a dispatch conf. And what do you see? SDDM. Okay. And so here are our options down here. I just hit Q to get out of that navigating. I don't want to change anything on SDDM, so uh, I'm just going to Z right here for zap new. Just hit Z. And the next one is WebKit options Facebook.com. What? Um, I don't think I've ever changed this, so we're going to go ahead and use new. Just hit U. And that's done. Um, so we go back over here and what was the next thing? So I just want to look at the uh, GCC config again. So I'm just going to do over here, clear GCC config dash L. And we can go ahead and remove the other version. Um, be real careful with this. And let's just do this. GCC version. No. GCC dash version. Okay, so we can paste that and change it from 4.4.5 to 5.4.0. That's um, Now let's do this. AIX GCC. Oh, dash R3. Okay. All right. 5.4.0 dash R3. Zero. I didn't have to delete that. Still haven't had my coffee yet. Well, I don't know why. Maybe it removed itself automatically. Yeah, it's installed but it doesn't want to be removed. Uh, it won't even let me do the uh, autocomplete. So anyways, it's essentially done. I uh, might as well just do a, a uh, emerge UV DNA. I always thought it was funny that that uh, set of letters. And the reason I write it that way is UV is bad for DNA. <laughs> do it that way. Sorry, yeah, like I said, no coffee yet today. So let's see if that comes up with any uh, updates. I think there was one. Um, one package other than GCC. Can't remember what it was. Yeah, by the way, finally got temperature to work in Awesome. It is actually kind of a pain. Um, you got to use uh, EA, or sorry, EW uh, temp. You got to use the thermal, and you got to use the core temp, and find where the temperature is listed under. Um, yeah, I can't remember exactly where it was, but it's quite a thing. Well, I'll be back once this is done. I'm tired of waiting. So there we go. There are no updates required, and uh, so we're all done. Let me know if you have any questions, and I'll talk to you next time.